point of the area Alonso Herrera School, which presents some advantages of being part of the European Union, like for example, the advantages on gender equality and the interior market of the European Union, the commitment to ecological products, and the advantages of the euro. The Erasmus program and fire against the climate change, design in space and other social benefits. Gender equality is a fundamental principle of the European Union, a quote said by the European Commission's president, Ursula von der Leyen. And even though this isn't a reality yet, here are some objectives that the European Union proposed to overcome this problem. The European Union protects women and children who are affected by gender-based violence inside their European area. This meaning that they can move between borders with total legal protection. European Institute for Gender Equality. This is an institution located in Lithuania that ensures the sensitization, production and recompilation of data about gender equality inside the European Union, making all kinds of studies and statistics about this topic. Even though there are still a lot of inequalities, the European Union has made some considerable advances in this topic, driven by laws on equal treatment, the inclusion of women's perspective in policies, and concrete measures for the promotion of women. 2020 to 2025 Gender Equality Strategy This is a new strategy to promote gender equality in the period between 20 to 2025, created by the European Commission's president, which will help to achieve certain objectives like put an end to gender-based violence, fight against gender stereotypes and eliminate the pay gap between men and women, and many more, to make a new European Union with more gender equality. Supported by common policies, the four freedoms, free movement of goods, the free movement of goods between member states, of customs, duties on imports and exports, free movement of workers. Any worker belonging to the European Union may make a free movement to any member state, also having employment and free resident, without having to submit to the legal procedures necessary to do the same in other country not a member of the European Union. The movement of services. The free movement of the services is defined in the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union. The disappearance of the restriction on the freedom to provide services within the European Union. Free movement of capital. The free movement of capital is defined by the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union. Any rescission of the movement of payments and capitals, both between member countries, is provided. Commitment to the environment products. Environment products have five important advantages. They have higher nutritional values. Export state organic food have greater nutritional values than food produced with chemicals or additives. These substances significantly reduce the natural qualities of the products and decrease their quality. In addition, organic foods pose no risk to the health. They require more manpower. The process of making an organic food is much slower than that of a traditional one. Natural cycles are not altered, which means more labor. While this is noticeable in the price of organic food, this process contributes to the development of the regions and environments where they are produced. They avoid pollution from environments. By dispensing with chemicals and fertilizers, companies and organic producers do not pollute the environment in which they operate. On the contrary, all stage of its product chain are characterized by the present and talking care of the environment. They respect animal welfare. But organic food not only influences social development, but also the preservation of animal species. The best example of this is seen in the organic livestock, where chemicals or preservatives are also not used to feed the animals. The whole process is natural. They promote sustainable development. 
Its production takes into account the care of the environment as a priority and creates awareness among consumers of this importance. We are start using the euro in 2002 and it has a lot of advantages for the country that use it. It gives us more stable prices. In everyday life, stable prices mean that we can trust the future value of our money and so companies can invest and grow. In addition, it is more resistant to certain economic changes that may appear outside the euro area and disrupt the evolution of national economies, such as increases in the price of petroleum. The European economy is very important thanks the to Euro Europe. area ranks second place among the world's largest economies. Europe is a great unified market. The markets market. of all EU countries have to obey some laws. This really attracts investment from foreign markets. The Euro is very safe. The euro mainly contains security elements in its banknotes. This really reduces the likelihood of being scammed with counterfeit money. In addition, this also attracts investment. All transaction costs are eliminated. The need to carry out currency exchange operations implies additional risks and costs and a lack of transparency in cross-border transactions. With a single currency, it is less costly and less risky to do business in the euro area. The original Erasmus program was created in 1987, and since that moment, it hasn't stopped growing. Nowadays, after 30 years, Erasmus Plus uh, offers you a greater number of opportunities and it has spread uh, throughout countries which are not European. The most important advantages of Erasmus Plus are the following ones. Erasmus Plus brings people together. 94% have become more tolerant and 85% say they are more aware of common European values. Erasmus Plus helps you with languages. 9 out of 10 participants improve their language skills. Erasmus Plus opens up your mind. 97% say they get along better with people from other cultures. Erasmus Plus trains the trainer. Teachers apply new teaching methods and say the institution increases its international networks. Erasmus Plus strengths social inclusion. For example, 100,000 refugees have benefits from online linguistic support. Erasmus Plus helps you get a job. Students double their chance of employment a year after graduation. From the beginnings of Erasmus, 9 million people have joined the program. Among them, the number of high education students stands out. But they are also part of this big family, education staff and youth workers, young people doing exchange, or for example, European volunteers. Europe wants to lead the global fight against climate change. To do this, European countries will work as one during the next decades in order to achieve their ambitious objectives. Those objectives are the following ones. For the year 2020, Europe wanted to reduce a 20% greenhouse gases emissions, to increase the portion of renewable energies to 20% and to improve a 20% energy efficiency. Those objectives have been already achieved. For the year 2030, Europe wants to drive sustainable economic growth, create employment, generate benefits in terms of health and environment for European people and to be part of the long-term global competitiveness of the European Union economy by promoting innovation in green technologies. For the year 2050, Europe 
wants to get a neutral European Union by reducing CO2 emissions, by getting more renewable and efficient energy, by promoting a clearer transport and by activating a circular economy. The Schengen area is a zone that consists of 26 co European countries, 22 of them who are part of the European Union, who decided to eliminate their interior borders, working as a unified country if we're talking about exterior borders. These interior frontiers were removed in the Schengen Agreement signed in 1989. This large area is surrounded by 42,673 kilometers of maritime borders and 7,721 kilometers of terrestrial borders. The Schengen area provides a whole lot of benefits for those countries who are a part of it, including to ease the movements within borders, to reduce the crowded areas within them, to facilitate commerce, and to increase the tourism, among many more. Here's a list of all the countries who are a part of the Schengen area. Albanities or living in the EU. We don't need visa for more than 100 countries. The moment you want to travel to another country that belongs to the Schengen area, you will simply need your ID. No need to apply for visa in advance, which means wasting time and money. Provides us with employment flexibility. As well, everything is much easier when it comes to work outside your country. This is an option that many people take into account, since you have a better salary and working hours in another country it is as simple as live. We have access to social benefits. You have the right to four weeks of vacation per year, to maternity leave, to sick leave in the event of an accident. The elderly receive a pension. We have a free education and we also add the supplement that we have an Erasmus project. Great freedom of movement. Just as you can work in any country in the European Union, you can also live without any problem. 